hello guys welcome back today i will be talking on hepatitis b is one of the diseases that have been ravaging our society it can affect both male and female even children but before i go on i would like you to click on that subscribe button and turn on notification so that you get new videos as it drops so hepatitis b is a virus just like hiv and ebola coronavirus they are all viruses they all have similar characteristics and the way they operate in the body now there have been lots of diagnoses of hepatitis b people who don't know they have it and who are just discovering the thing is there is no cause for alarm hepatitis b can be managed that's the good news so what is hepatitis b it's like i said it's a virus and which means Part of its characteristics is that it can be transmitted through transmission of blood, blood-derived foods transmitted from mother to a child, poorly sterilized medical equipment, and dental drill, poorly unsterilized tattoo needles for those who do tattoo, and skin puncturing instruments, acupunctures that have come in contact with contaminated blood. What are the symptoms of this hepatitis B? May feel pain in the abdomen, fatigue. You can experience loss of appetite, fluid in the abdomen, web-like swollen blood vessels seen around the abdomen, or yellow eyes or skin. Don't mistake that with jaundice. Your urine will be dark and you can experience joint pain. Furthermore, hepatitis B can be an acute or chronic infection. Of course, acute being short-term in yours, it actually occurs within six months after it, the person has contacted hepatitis B virus. So you might want to see the designated physician or healthcare provider for the management of hepatitis B. So now, what does diet have to do with hepatitis B? That is where I come in. Since hepatitis B is a virus ravaging the liver, it has a lot to do with diet because the liver, as we know, is a very important organ in the body that has over 500 functions. So someone that has hepatitis B can develop liver cirrhosis or the liver is damaged permanently. It can lead to death. And of course, liver cancer. Of course, you know that liver can regenerate and body needs food for its regeneration. Yes. So now the direct management aims at sparing the liver and providing it with the nutrients needed for regeneration. First of all, the person should take enough rest, adequate intake of foods are needed, good nutrition. You will need to see a dietitian or a nutritionist for diet therapy and avoidance of any further damage to the liver, especially drinking of alcohol. If hepatitis B is not managed, it can possibly lead to death. So with this information, if you have not gone to check if you have hepatitis B, so you will not give it to somebody else. Go for lab tests to identify or to know if you have hepatitis B. So we can stop the spread of this virus. Until next time, on your health. Thank you so much.